Hey, let me turn this camera around. Hi, Sheila. What's up, Tierica? Wait a minute. Okay. Y'all got it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so, so, so tired. I've been so busy. I'm trying to add people. I had everybody on here. I don't know what happened. But, uh, y'all, I'm just going to leave it like that because I'll be all day doing this. Um, hi, Angie. Day day in the house. Y'all, please bear with me this first time I'm doing this. It's going to be for sale. I'm going to make use hair products. I'm just getting all my stuff together. So, the moss too. Um, when I go up to sell it, I am. Okay. Well, here go the sea moss. And see if I could do it with one hand. Yeah. It's been soaking since. Well, I, I washed it and cleaned it first. Right? I cleaned it first and then I um got all the little particles and everything out of it. What's up, Kareen? And so this is what it looks like. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's it got little part little squeak. I don't know. Remind me of um uh, uh, like a centipede or something. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But other than that, let me strain it. Gotta get something to strain it, y'all. My mother got so much stuff. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, that's just burnt. I'm kind of like unorganized a little bit. So y'all gotta bear with me. Look at that. Pick up the toaster and look. Leave a piece. So, I've been doing my research and studies. I had this for a minute. I just ain't had time to do it because I'm remodeling my house. And um, I've just been so busy. So that's why y'all ain't really been seeing me on here. But I want y'all to see this. I got this at our Kinesa. If you want some, and uh, it comes straight from the sea. It's not man-made because they do grow them in labs, so you got to watch where you get it from. So I want y'all to see this part right here. That's why I'm holding it before I set the camera up. And... Uh, feel. See, I don't like that right there, that, that feel, but I gotta do what I gotta do if I wanna make this money. So, as they stated, and it is from the earth, it is, uh, it has 92 minerals, 92 of the 102 minerals that we need in our body. which is good so I know I've been like taking my vitamins and everything I haven't even really been sick this year been on these fight my vitamins and eating healthy trying to anyhow Staying out the way. I took this off because it was out the water, so it's a little brown. But Tierica, this is the sea moss from the Kanisa. And I I done got all this salt out of it. So do that right there. And then what I'm gonna do is Set the camera to where um, 
y'all can see. Now, I kind of figured this out before I even read up on it and researched it. I'm going to make, like I do my flaxseed gel. For Like when I do my locks, I'm going to make some gel out of this. It's good for your skin. It's good for your face. So whatever I'm making right here is edible. And you also can use it on your body just like the flaxseed gel, you know, that I put in my hair. You can eat flaxseed and you can just, you know, put it on your body too. So anyhow, um, I learned something new. It made sense. Disease. The word is disease. Okay, so like our body is at ease when we well, right? But then when you get sick, it's at dis-ease. Dis-ease. So you got to put it back at ease. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, dis-ease. Put it back at ease. Okay, now I'm going to set my phone some kind of way where y'all can see that's that's cool right there yeah that's cool right there i hope it don't fall let me put this potato there look i tried to hi emory how are you um i tried to root this right in some water like a regular sweet potato right so it sat for about two weeks didn't shrivel didn't do nothing so i took the mug out and set it up here in um in the kitchen under the light Look at it. So you know I'm going to stick it in some dirt on a humbug. So, anyhow, let me rinse this out. It's clean, but it's been setting. I like to make sure all my stuff is straight. Alright. I don't have a neutral bullet. I don't have a juicer. I don't have none of that. I just use my blender. That's all I use. So... I'm going to take this and add it in. So I'm going to make a whole bunch of it. So I'm going to let y'all know how many cups this is once I put it all in here. Alright. Now this is sea moss. This is your I think it's the um Jamaican sea moss. I just ordered some from this dude. Um, he over in Africa, and it's the purple sea moss. And I forgot what they call that sea moss, but I ordered some of that. I can't wait till it get here. And I ordered some other stuff like moringa tea. That's good for us and stuff like that. So, what? Man, I got the fireplace on. I'm doing a video. Okay. Make sure. I don't know. See if some windows open. Okay. Make sure. I ain't been in there. Excuse me, y'all. Anyhow, um, make sure when you soak your sea moss, right? Make sure you do everything in a glass jar glass glass bowl glass glass everything because for the simple fact that plastic has chemicals plastic has chemicals right so say like if you go to heat it up and this that that and the other um you don't want them chemicals in your food you know what i mean so use glass so i happen to dig in my closet Cause I got stuff stashed everywhere and I found some little mason jars right so this is what I'm going to store it in and also you can freeze this you can freeze it for later use so you could put this in your smoothies you can eat it straight up you could put it in your food I mean I don't know but I'm going to taste it straight up and let y'all know I'm going to start making different flavors. So, I got some banana flavor. I got some real oranges. I got froze. I froze up. Because I was like, look, you be um in the freezer aisle. And then they got them frozen vegetables, you know, in there. 
them don't taste right. They don't. They, they, they don't. It don't taste right. So I was like, shoot, let me start buying the real uh, fruit, like oranges and stuff like that. Oranges and whatever, mangoes. You know, I like to eat those. And uh, I got lemons, grapefruit, all of that, right? I say, let me start freezing them straight up so when I go to unthaw them, I got the real fruit. You know what I mean? So, and also I found out, this is a tip too for y'all. Hi, Hope. Um, this is another tip for y'all too. Um, if you like strawberries, I don't, I like them, but I really don't. They got to be really, 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 really sweet, right? For me to eat them. But when you eat them, don't throw away the green part. The green part got chlorophyll in it. I found that out today. So, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, when I eat a, um, strawberry um you might as well eat the whole thing because it's it's it, it could go on the lettuce or something like that you know what i mean it got chlorophyll we need chlorophyll so hey it's good for you okay back to the sea moss so right now i got about let me see how many cups is this uh about four cups this is about four cups of sea moss okay so now I need a measuring cup. I get them. My mother, she does things with them, man. Okay. So I'm gonna measure it off. We all doing this together now. Hi, Clarence. <laughs> Hope I called you today. Or oh, I, I started to. Y'all yeah, know I normally have music in the background. This is how tired I am. Oh, this is my old, old one. So this one holds one, two, three. This one holds four cups of water. So I'm going to fill it all the way up. And I'm not going to pour it all in. I'm going to do about halfway. About right there. So that's two cups to four cups. And then I'm just going to go ahead on and blend. Let me rinse this off. And y'all, I got a phobia or something. Where that thing at? Okay, there it go. Now. Then I'ma just blend it. I ain't got my glasses on. It's better written. All right, Joe. What's up, cuz? Hey, shit, goddamn! What bothering me?
check it out and see what we got. Let's see. I'm like really excited because I'm like, I did it. This ain't got nothing in it. So you want it to look like applesauce. You don't want to have no particles in it. I mean, you don't want to have no clumps. So this is the way you want it to look. Who say my phone about to die? Yes, ma'am. Love you. Okay. So this is how you want it to look like applesauce. So what I'm going to do, because it's going to swell up. I'm going to add just a little bit more water because it's going to swell up in the refrigerator when you go, you know, when it goes to get cold. And then we, I'm going to do a taste test for y'all. I say that is because that's how I want it. So, you know, you could put it in your food, you could put it in your smoothie, you can eat it straight up, however you want to do it. But you do, you know, do it in the morning when you get up, or however, if you work midnight, you know, do it then. So, we're about to go for the taste test. <sighs> I'm always doing something, man. Shoo. Alright, here we go. Let me get a smaller spoon, Jack. Because if I don't like it, find a smaller spoon. Mo! Uh -huh. Here, come taste it. That's the guinea pig. Hey, Mikey. I'm only going to give you a little bit. Alright. Here I go, y'all. I'm just going to put a little bit. Here we go. Don't taste like nothing. A little stouty. Tastes like seawater. Yeah, I could really taste the sea in that mug for real, and really sea water is really good for you. Mm. So me, I will have to put it in something for me to get it down. Mo, you coming to taste it or no? Before I start pouring it up. Sea moss. Is you coming? Yeah. Don't let nobody see you in your underwear. Yeah, give me some. Oh. 
John boy gonna have to wait. Eat that. That's the boy. That's money. All right. He said, "Uh." So that got the. What it tastes like? Yeah, you could taste the. You could taste the sea and the freshness. Like you swimming and you taste seawater. That's that's what I taste. So if somebody tell you something different, they lying to you. So. Okay, now I'm gonna start pouring it up. This is gonna be my personal, and this wasn't the one I licked out of either. I just threw this over there in the water. Now, one of these little jars, and I know for a fact. Oh my wrist. Here we go. One of these little jars right here costs every bit of about $25 to $30. Dollars. That's no lie. So, but I'm going to probably have to make flavors for me. Let me lock this. In order for me to get this down, I'm going to have to make what you call it. And I'm going to give it to my grandkids because get them about a half a teaspoon. What's up, Jerry? Just made some sea moss, man. So, it costs every bit of $25 to $30, this little jar right here. So, I'm going to come up with a price that's feasible, plain, maybe $15, $20. If it got flavor in it, i add $5 in it. But, yeah, sea moss. And, you know, people say, oh, that's too much. But you got to realize, 92 of our 102 minerals we, have, we need for our body. So, our body has 102 minerals. This has 92. That's 10 less. So, and it helps with uh, sugar, high blood pressure, stomach issues, um, all types of things. And then, um, like I said, you could do lock your hair with it, um, put it on your skin, do a skin, uh, skin, you know, treatment or whatever. Um, massage your whole body with it because it got salt in it, sea salt, so it's going to dry everything out. And so um, that's why I'm gonna make it my business to go to the to the beach twice a year. So with that being said, I just made some sea moss. I told y'all what it tastes like. <laughs> Woo! And um, I'm gonna let y'all know. All these little things I'm getting ready for sale. I just got stuff. Um, I, I got them in test products. You know what I mean? This is some uh, hand sanitizer, all natural. Hold up, hold up. That's something else. These some peppers. I did these are. What peppers are these? Um. These are cayenne peppers. Ah, they've been sitting so long, I can't open it. But anyhow, I grew these. These are cayenne peppers. Yep. And I'm telling you, they they hot. I could grind them up, sprinkle it on food. Um, I haven't really put a price on it, Rachel. Um. If I do it plain, I just said if I do it plain, I probably sell this for twenty because I know every, every these go for every bit of twenty five to thirty dollars. And if I put a flavor on it, then I'm gonna add an extra five dollars. And um, yeah, this 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 is pretty high, but it's it's it tastes funny. But if you put it in the stuff, you can get you bypass it. You know, like I say, you cook dinner, you make soup or some gravy or something like that for dinner. Put you one teaspoon in there, 
everybody sop it up. They don't even know they're getting their minerals and vitamins of what they need naturally. Because we come from the earth and to heal ourselves, we need this. We need stuff to come from the earth to heal our bodies. Trying to get away from these chemicals. Um, but yeah, I do hand sanitizer. This. Um, this is peppermint. But I mixed it. I'm going to show y'all which one is mine and which one ain't mine. This green leaf right here. These are my mints that I grew. Right? The darker ones is the one that I had in the store. It was in the cupboard from the store. You can see the difference. Mine is still green. Mine is still green. And so... Um, oh, yeah, hold up now. Don't go nowhere. This is my lavender that I grew and I burn it or either I could break some of this off and put it in my tea, you know, make a lavender tea. Um, what else I got in here? Mint. Um, yeah, I grew this. This was the bud of the, the lavender. So like when I really want them key, I done dried this out. When I want them kids to go to bed and we get a good nice rest, I, you know, I wrap it up like sage. I wrap it up. And then I burn this son of a gun and got to get the whole room smoky, right? And they be up there. <laughs> you know, and then I go ahead on to put it out. Next thing you know, we all out like a light. All out like a light. I can, my granddaughter love, daughter loves to drink this. She loves to drink it. Hi, Rick. How are you? Oh, this Junior. Is that Daddy? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I grow these. Um, the lavender. I got one out there. And I went and cut it down. I let it dry out. I let it, you know, start drying out out there. But then I brought them in. I cut. I had a big sink full. And I just let them. You know, I washed them and cleaned them, and then I, you know, wrapped it up and hung it up in my closet and let it dry out. I could do it fresh, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, it, it got to grow back, so, because um, I did whack it down. And probably at the end of the summer, I'm going to get them up again. You know, like this little bit right here that's falling off. Shh, man, waste not. This going to go in somebody's teeth. I might make me a little tea tonight with that little bit right there and it'll just relax me and put me to sleep. That's real talk. So, you know, um, I got a mint one. I had a mint one. So I got to go out there and, and clean my mint, uh, mint and spearmint thing out and let it grow. And then I just pick them, wrap them, dry them. And when I want some mint tea, I take that mint Drop it in there. Boom, I got mint tea. So, you know, call me Nature Girl if you want to. Let's set that over there. But yeah, I got a lot of stuff. I got right now um some aloe vera and uh flaxseed. I'm trying to make a gel for your hair and I messed up, but I want to see how long it lasts with the stuff that I got put in it. So, you know, I got a little, a little tester over here in my thing. See, you know, this is aloe vera plant, the big plant, and um, flaxseed. And, yeah, I, I, I really, when I grinded it with the thing, the wand thing, I did it a little too much. But I can add some stuff in there, and I just want to see how long it lasts. I put all my 
preservatives in it. As a matter of fact, it smelled bad. I just got a whiff of it. So it ain't no good no more. So now I know how long it'll last. So this got to go down the drain. And it's probably the uh, aloe vera, more likely, of the shit stank. So, because it ain't been on ice. Woo! So, it will be up for sale. What up, Marvin? I done made some sea moss, dude. Hey, Miss Vicky, since I called you, you didn't answer. I need to talk to you. Um, I made some sea moss. I want to come and see you, man. I, I need to do a little weekend getaway. For real. Leave on a Friday, come back on a Monday or something. I want to see some Kentucky snow. I want to go play in the snow. But this is my personal sea moss. I just made some, Vicky. The moss too. Here it is right here. So. I'm going to get some more from the Kinesa. Until I wait for my stuff to come in from that dude from uh, Africa. He was in Atlanta and he moved over to Africa. And. Uh. I think his website is natural roots my natural roots dot org yeah my natural roots dot org and um hey he bought that business he over there living it up and he's shipping stuff back home to make that money because everything grows natural over there you know what I mean so here go another one filling up it's for my brother I told him I, I'm not going to add no flavor to it. I'm trying to see how I can incorporate it with uh, elderberry. Let's see how I can incorporate it. Then that's when it's really going to be high. So this one is mine. And the other one is his. And the rest, I'll probably get like these little packets and freeze them. You know what I mean? Some kind of way I'm going to put it in a baggie. My mother, she always recycling. I wouldn't put it in this. It's going in the trash. You know, recycle it. And, um, not recycle it. Damn, I'm tired. Put it in a baggie or something. Freeze it. And sell this whole thing. I got to come up with a price. I got to weigh it up. Come up with a price. But this right here going in the trash. Let me tell y'all something. All of our buy low stores is going out of business down here, right? So buy low is like something like a like a giant eagle back home, okay? So they all going out of business. So last week we went there last Friday and it was raining I had to go in there and get some cat food right so everything's like 30 40 percent off okay so I racked up on some dog food and cat food and things of that nature right so when was that no I take that back that was Thursday Friday morning I had to stop at the store to get some I said shoot let me run in the giant eagle no, I had to get a, a propane tank. That's what it was, propane tank. And switch it out, right? So, um, I went in there. They didn't have no more propane tanks. All the other ones was empty on the outside, right? So, shoot. I got to looking around, store all empty and whatnot. And I looked over and I seen all them turkeys. Everything 75% off in the store. 75%. Let me tell you something. I got K Pond for $9. Turkeys for $9. What was that? You feed the dogs for me. I got to whip up their stuff. What's that you got? 
What? I don't Kibachi. know. Who? Kibachi. Kibachi. Shrimp, rice, chicken. Oh, okay. Um, so anyhow, man, my bill came to almost it came to eight hundred dollars. Everything with fifty percent off and my buy low card, everything came to a hundred and seventy nine dollars. I made some sea moss, you wanna taste it? It's good for you. It don't take it tastes like the sea. Not chicken or the sea either. So anyhow. <laughs> you and that coat, Jack. So I got some right here. Oh my wrist. Pour this up so now I know how much four cups to get me a sea moss. So a half a pound, I think, cost me $45. Yeah, a half a pound cost me $45. That's a lot. I need to put the date on these mugs. Where's my black magic marker go to? I done got a hope to it. I'll put it on there tomorrow. So I'm really, really, really tired. And I really, really, really want to go to bed. I think I'm going to make this one a banana one. Or put a little cinnamon or something in it. Oh man, my thing box is outside. Mo, call your mother. I'm doing my video. She just called me. Call, see if your mother called you. Because I'm doing a video. Hey, Rosemary, I just made some um, sea moss. You want me to bring you some tomorrow? It's good for you. This is all that's left. Some kind of way I got to get this. Uh -uh. Shoot. $45 for a half a pound. That's a lot of money, Jack. I gotta get some more. Let me see what it tastes like if I put honey in it. I do got sugar cane. It's straight up off the stick. Let me see. Uh Some honey. No, I don't like honey like that. Let me see. I got pumpkin and spice. Let me try that. But then it ain't got no sugar in it. I need something with some sugar. Sugar or something is so good. I just can't. Or maybe some vanilla. Uh, 
a little bit of banana. That's lemon. I had some vanilla extract. Call her. She might have been trying to get in contact with you. Vanilla. enough. Got this on my hand. All right. I wish I had some kind of juice. I don't. It's in my building. Dang it. Y'all, I gotta go. People been tearing my phone up. Y'all have a good one.